so I'm so angry. I'm so angry. I feel like I have to disgrace my country people. How can I disgrace my country people like this? Hey, 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 hey. Today is story time. As a Nigerian living in South Africa, I have several embarrassing moments. Like sometimes, sometimes as little as greeting someone, how far? Guess people looking at me awkwardly, like what is this girl saying? What is fat? How far? What is he talking about? Or sometimes I'll just want to be a cool kid and tell someone on journey, and the person gets extra chatty and you know start talking in vernacular and even putting the tongue clicking part like <laughs> and I'll be like Hold it, hold it, hold on. I can't understand anything you're saying. I just know how to say Ujjali and the reply. So please, trust me when I say I have several awkward and embarrassing moments. But today, I'm going to I'm share with you guys the top two embarrassing awkward moments that take the cake. So, are you ready for the story time? Let's get into it. So if I start the story, you can see I'm in a happy mood. My channel just got 1,000 subscribers. It's a very big deal for me and I'm so grateful. I want to take this time to say thank you to everyone who was subscribed to my channel. I'm so grateful to everyone of you. Thank you, thank you, thank you. I don't, I won't, I will never take this for granted. And if not subscribed, what are you waiting for? Make sure to click the subscribe button down below and join the family, okay? Now let's go back to our story time. So let's start with the very first one. This one is more of an awkward moments that an embarrassing moment it happened in 2019 during my early days here in South Africa I was pregnant with my daughter and I went to you know at another checkup at another checkup with my GP a Nigerian doctor and when I went there you know he was asking routine questions your age is this your first pregnancy you know stuff like that and then he asked me do you take anything do you take any medication I said yes I take drugs just looked at me and paused for a bit and continued what he was doing I didn't really understand why he at that point so I didn't really take notice of anything so I was just normally saying the things I was saying you know I was talking about drugs 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 I, I, what about uh, this drug um, where can I get this drug should I take this drug you know I just I was using the word drugs 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 up and down and even the secretary was kind of nearby when she came in and heard me talking about drugs as well you know she was kind of like looking at me like um, <laughs> I didn't really get uh, the drift. I, I didn't really, I swear, I didn't understand it in why they were, we are kind of staring at me awkwardly. So when I was leaving, the daughter like called me one side and told me, Sissy, you are here in South Africa and drug means a whole different thing than what it means in your country, in our country, Nigeria. So please be very careful so you don't get yourself with the drug. We said it in our Nigerian PG. So me, Sissy, listen, no, no, they use drug anyhow. Because this place, drug is different from the thing you mean. So be careful, may they not catch you. So <laughs> it then clocked on me like, oh my god, what was I thinking? Because I know that drug is a real thing here, like it's a very serious issue here. So why am I really throwing the world around? I had to commit it to my memory that I don't have to, you know, go around talking about drugs, drugs, and drugs because everyone is going to think that it is the other kind of drug I'm talking about and not even the medicine. So, you know, I always try to remind myself it is medicine, not drug. It's medicine, your meds, not drugs. This particular issue has put me in a lot of trouble, especially when I was pregnant because then I was actually looking like a hobo. So when I use the word drug, people look at me like, is this girl on drugs for real? Is she a drug addict? <laughs> I remember also when I was pregnant, um, I was going back from my hospital and I used an Uber. I forgot my drugs not my drugs i forgot my meds in the car so you know pregnancy green and all of that so when i remembered i died the uber guy hello this is the person you just dropped off so many ago i said hello what's that i said i forgot something in your car i said what is that i said drugs oh my god i couldn't believe it before i could correct myself to say my medicine and this man was already out he was shouting he was so angry he was feeling he won't put me in trouble what's wrong with you are you trying to put me in trouble you know stuff like that oh guy i didn't know what to do again okay? like i was so confused and even before i could explain myself he caught the call and then like a few hours later he called and said oh i saw this chem nylon head is that what you were implying is that the drug we're talking about i said yes i want to say my meds sorry so just help me and get it back and you know he apologized and put that 
Yes. So oh, honestly, this thing really cost me a lot and this thing always gives me a lot of trouble. Like even to today, to date, I still call it drugs sometimes. Like, so yes, yeah, that is that for the first story. But this next one, oh my god, is the most embarrassing story for me. Like sometimes when I think about it, I get so mad at myself. Like how could I, I feel like I'm a dumb bro. Like, how can I, a young person, be scammed by a gogo, -go, like a grandma? <laughs> I couldn't believe it like sometimes i feel like i was hypnotized because that's the only reasonable excuse that i could give yeah, that's the reason why this could ever happen to me like a mommy a nigerian girl how could that ever be scammed by a granny god this is so embarrassing so here it goes um on a very beautiful day a very beautiful afternoon i was out to buy some groceries somewhere near my house so i decided to just walk it up wasn't so far so coming back i met uh, a, a grandma an old woman go go so she came to me and i thought she was trying to ask for directions so she asked me um are you a foreigner are you from nigeria from morocco from ethiopia i don't know just tell me are you a foreigner i was kind of shocked like why are you asking me that kind of question she said oh that she doesn't mean to be rude that she's just asking because she works for a film production crew and that they're looking for foreign nationals to cast for a movie role and if i'm interested in acting and all of that <sighs> and that is why i said it was hypnosis because i'm not even interested in acting i don't even care about acting but all of a sudden i saw myself the big screen in my head i'm already an actress my inner missy johnson came out from nowhere ha i thought that yes i'm interested in acting she said okay that's nice but that she needs to ask me something i said what is it she said, are you in this country legally because they have been having a lot of problems that when she casts some foreign nationals and they will find out that they are not in the country legally then they will not be used for the role i said yes i'm in the country legally i said very good as well then she asked me if i have a nigerian cultural attire i said yes i have a nigerian cultural attire and then she asked me if I have uh, a picture of myself wearing the Nigerian cultural attire. I said yes, and I showed her this picture. And she said, perfect. You are the perfect girl for this role. So that uh, she then gave me a number and said I should contact this woman on WhatsApp. Her name is Mini, and I should write this particular word. I am interested in the film. And that when I write it, that, that woman will know that I have, I'm coming from her. I said okay thank you i got the number and then i asked her for her own number she refused to give me her number she said it doesn't matter right now because she's not really in the production crew that this woman that i'm going to chat is the one that is going to take me through every other thing that i will need to know so i said okay it was kind of fishy but then she didn't ask me for my own number she didn't ask me for my name or anything so i felt like you know let's just keep it that way there is no harm she didn't ask me for mine so i'm not required to ask her for her own or force her to give me her number so i just you know pass it out and then i went home and i told my husband your wife out here is going to be on the big screens like i'm about to be an actress a superstar in south africa can you imagine i'm going to be earning cool cash yes woman told me i'll be earning two five Per, uh, per day for every day that I act in the film. I said, okay, that's good. That anyway, that kind of sounds fishy, so I should try and confirm with my South African friend. So I called my girl Tembi. I called her and told her um, about this story. I just told her everything, narrated everything from the beginning to the end. And even before I could finish, she burst out laughing. She started laughing at me. I was so embarrassed. She said, Hi, Bo, they finally got you. That these people are scammers. You know, she said that it is uh, that a lot of people know about them, that she felt a victim of them. They told her to come for a casting for an interview. And when she got there, they, they told her to pay 1,000 rand before she could, you know, act or do anything for form for this for this you know it has been here for a while and everybody knows about these things so guys i was so embarrassed and then it was as if the veil was removed from my face i was like you are very correct like what was i even thinking that i'm going to get scouted on the street of johannesburg and become a big superstar like is that how it works oh my god i was so embarrassed and you know i told my husband he was laughing at me and when i tell my sisters you know i just shared the story to a couple of people and they were all laughing at me it's such an embarrassing moment for me and i think i was so blinded by her age i didn't feel like someone that old was ever going to 
you know, involve me in any shady business. So I've been scammed. A Nigerian girl like me has been scammed. I don't know what happened. I don't know. And you know, I just felt like I've disgraced my country, Nigeria, because we we are known to be very street smart. We are known to shine eyes. Like you can't scam in Nigeria, but see me now being scammed and not even being scammed being scammed by a google so <laughs> the story is so embarrassing and you know this is, this is definitely one for this i can't forget this i can't forget it in a hurry i don't even know why i'm telling you guys but i don't like telling people about it because i feel like i was i was being so dumb like or maybe i just wanted the money <laughs> i don't know but you know so this is me also warning anybody who is out there if you have not met these people very very careful and i don't know if you have met any of them if you have or if you have encountered any of them or any scam at all just tell me in the comment section and you know just just laugh over it is is no big deal like things happen sometimes we just become dumb for no reason so yes this is my top most embarrassing moment in South Africa because I can't believe what really happened to me. So yes, <laughs> I hope you enjoyed the story and if you do, please make sure to subscribe to my channel, okay? Make sure to give it a thumbs up and also I honestly want to hear what you have to say in the comment section. Tell me if you have been scammed by any of them or if you have any funny or embarrassing experience or awkward experience that you've had, share it below in the comment section. Let me hear about it and let's communicate down below in the comment section, all right? I'll see you guys on my next video. Don't forget to subscribe. Bye-bye. Peace out.